Wow, the bell rang and it's math time, so I want you to be ready to learn. Good morning, my smart students. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. So, today, I'm going to say the day and day today. So, today is Thursday and it's weekend time. Wow, I'm so excited. No studying tomorrow and after tomorrow. And the date is April 9th. 2020. Okay, I'm going to tell you something else. We don't have a new lesson today. We are going to continue the lesson we started yesterday, which is rewrite three digit subtraction. I am sure most of you uh, know how to subtract three digit subtraction. Sorry, three digit numbers. And today we will, let me say, uh, we will be able to rewrite horizontal three-digit subtraction as vertical three-digit subtraction and also write the number sentence strategy to solve problems. So everyone, look at this line. This we call it horizontal line. And this is vertical line. So usually we write the numbers horizontally and subtract them vertically. Okay, everyone? So let's go here to mental math. So I want you to subtract these numbers. And remember, take your time. Here is a video. Uh, watch the video. Watch the introduction video about subtract from a two-digit number. Here are the steps. Yesterday we've learned how to rewrite. So the two important steps are rewrite and subtract. So, here find the difference between these numbers. Find 845 minus 798. Well done. So, first of all, we're going to write the numbers. Okay, we will take the great number and put it on the top and the small number below. Okay, so we will start, okay, from the one space, as I said, as I used to say. So, remember, more on the floor. We need to go to the next door and ask for 10 more. So, we need to make number 5 greater than 8 by regrouping. So, it will be 15. So, 15 minus 8 equals 7. So, here... Number 4 became 3 because we took 1 and gave it to number 5. So here we can subtract because more on the floor. We need to go to the next door and ask for, um, let me say, for more. So we're going to ask number 8 to give us, uh, you know, 1. So here we're going to add it here. So number 3 will be 13. And number 8 will be 7. Okay, everyone. So, finally, we're going to minus 13. Minus 9 equals 4. And 7 minus 7 equals 0. Well done, everyone. So, here, problem of the day. I want you, please, to remember the strategies. Um, to circle the numbers and find the keywords and also here some are the strategies we um we used to follow understand plan and finally solve so task time you have two things to do task number one and two you can choose one of them or you can do two of them it's up to you here we have problem and as I said to you so far, you need to circle the numbers and find the keywords. Read slowly everyone. Okay, remember how to line the numbers up neatly. Ones with the ones, tens with the tens, hundreds with the hundreds and you need to Got sure when, uh, for example, uh, let me say, 
to see or to put the great number on the top and the small number below. And then when you subtract, check uh, the numbers on the top to see if the numbers are small, you need to make them bigger by borrowing and regrouping. Also here, rewrite the problem, subtract. You have here um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 questions. Oh my gosh. So it's up to you. You can, you can choose four or you can do all of them. Okay, and finally here, find the difference between these two numbers. Please line the, line the numbers neatly and carefully. And thank you everyone. Please don't forget to upload your answers in your portfolio in Class Dojo. And have a nice weekend. Bye bye.